quick update guys it's still monday evening but joe is home she's home can't believe it i thought it was way worse than probably what it is um she was given antibiotics i'm sure she'll she's she'll tell you about it um because they thought they the peg line was infected um but a surgeon said to her that it, he didn't think it was um, and the antibiotics were making her a bit um a little bit poorly with her colostomy bag so she's home and she rang me and she rang me so i was just dozing and um, i got a call and i thought it was casey on joe's phone but it but i answered and it wasn't it was joe and um we had a right good 20 minute chat and she sounds great whatever the ms flare up or whatever it was has gone down and uh her levels are back down to normal she feels okay so fingers crossed she she stays that way um Ash has popped out. I'm just looking at the bunnies outside, playing. I love them so much. And yeah, I won't. I won't beat myself up. I've learned. I've learned to see the signs more now. Like Joe was saying, no, I was all right. You know, I was all right. I managed to get round the garden centre, and I said, you didn't. I could tell you weren't right then. But she was trying her hardest, which she does every single day of her life. She tries, she never gives up. So yeah, that's that's the update. Um, and I just wanted to keep you all in the loop. You know, who knows, she might even get a video out, whacked out for you all that you might have already seen when you watch this. From, from her footage from when we were away. But I've told her not to put any pressure on herself. And to rest up and um it looks like I'm like Adam and Eve in it with that with no clothes on. I have got clothes on. Um yeah I've told her not to put any pressure on and just uh rest and stay hydrated really. I don't think she's drinking enough. I'm just looking at my monkey, monkey bucket plants. Look at all the new growth. They really need to be hung up, but look at that. There's tons of little pictures, ones that haven't opened yet. Little baby ones. Loads. And they're just going to look so majestic once they're hung up. Look at them all. So, yeah, uh... You guys, I didn't know whether you could give us an idea. But obviously can't go there. One, they could go there, but I think that's probably a bit too far away from any light. Although it's a very light kitchen, we've got all the wind, all the windows. Um, but I think I probably want one here, hanging here, either off that wall or that wall. And then one could probably hang off here. And it wouldn't bosh Ash in the head. I wanted one either side of the big RSJ. But he's going to bang his head on it, isn't he? Going in and out that door. So, and then nothing can go there because of the cupboards. Nothing can go there because of the cupboard. So either have that as a, like, a little plank corner. Um, find a little shelf for my Venus flytraps maybe underneath. That might be cute, a little... V, a little corner shelf. Yeah, might do that. And I got Ash to check these two big heavy blinds as well after that one fell down in the in the office. Ooh. So he's he's been up and had a good check of them and said they're they're solid and they're not going to fall down. Whew. I think I'm now going to have a crumpet. Maybe a donut. 
I did freeze the strawberries and the yogurt to make sorbet, but I will whiz that up probably tomorrow. And the mango and pineapple uh, to fill up these two tubs that are now spare. Uh, put them in the Ninja Creamy so that we've got healthy, uh, healthy cold sorbet and desserts ready for ready for when you feel like a naughty snack that's not naughty. So yeah, I'm gonna try. Square crumpet. And these little Ziploc bags. They don't have to come in handy. You can't seal that very well. So if you put them all inside, one of the Asda Ziploc bags, squeeze all the air out and they keep so much better. And then in the bread bin. All done, no air in it. All sealed up. All done, no air in it. All sealed up. Oh my God, is it getting to that time of year where you've got to put your lights on? Hi Cookie. It is so dark outside. Please don't let that be like, you know, winter, winter kicking in. Why don't you stay there? Stay Currently there? in Wakefield, oh. it's 14 degrees with light showers. Today, there will be showers with a forecast high of 21 and a low of 14. Thanks very much. I didn't ask for that, but thank you so much, Google. Right. Oh, welcome to another day, everybody. It is five to seven on the 27th of June. Thank you for joining me on this roller coaster of life <laughs> I feel um don't know how I feel today I feel happy that Joe's out of hospital I feel anxious for Friday with my operation coming up I feel in pain because of my womb <laughs> again Gosh, I'm just gonna try and I'm just gonna try and draw a line under it. I'm gonna take the dogs for a walk now with Ash. Is it's it's very rare he makes me laugh in the morning. Mm. <laughs> but he has <laughs> I'm kidding. But he's made me howl this morning, we've had a right laugh. And uh Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a positive spin on today. Oh god the pain though. Wow. Stop. Um, take some more painkillers, get through today, and uh, yeah, daddy's there, Ash is there. Right, I'm gonna take dogs for a walk. Cookie! Can you help me make a nice coffee for work? Yeah? Thank you for helping me. Oh, I love you so much. Cheeky chops. Why is it so dark? The rain is coming. The rain, the rain is coming.
we've got nerdy m today put my glasses on for a change because i am miss tired eyes uh, i need to put my hair up because it is raining and my cap will need to go on when i get to my first client <clears throat> and she's gone to work got my coffee got my i'm sorting my route out that's what we need to do i might better do that now audiobook update Gillian McAllister wrong place wrong time really good it's the audiobook I've been listening to and I've finished it Susie recommended it to me she's reading the paperback and it's very good uh I was hooked on that I got through that really quick and now I've started on to Tina Turner my love story her autobiography so that'll be interesting and I'd like to know if you've got any other recommendations for me. So for audiobooks, because um, I'm in the car quite a lot, I tend to not actually pick up a book, but listen to audiobooks as I, as I drive around. Um, I've still got Shantaram on the go, but it's quite, a, like, like I said before, it's quite a hard uh, book to listen to a lot of emotions and gritty stuff in there so uh i dip in and out of that and with the anxieties coming up for friday and everything else um i wanted some more light-hearted ones i think tina turner's story is quite gritty as well but you know what i mean um so drop drop your recommendations in the comments for me and i'd love to know what you know what i'm going to listen to next Look at this little one. Hang on. <laughs> well, I can't get it. Moo Moo. Hello, sweetheart. I love you. I see you soon. Oh my god, she's too cute. I love her so much. I love you, sweetheart. I see you soon. Mama, go to work. Love you. Oh, she's just laid down. I love her so much. Um, right, work. Just been for my usual Tuesday Tesco toilet break, and I just realised that I'd not, I don't think I've ever been into home bargains with you lot. And it's only over there. And I work for myself and I need a bit of downtime. So I'm gonna go and take you around home bargains. I only need some sanitary products, and that's it. I'm not gonna be spending any money. And uh, but I'll show you lot what home bargains is like.
you know, sometimes you just walk into a shop and people are really helpful and really lovely and chatty. And that was one of them, Home Bargains in, is it Garforth? Um, and thank you to the lovely manager, Stephen, with a PH, who um, listened and helped me and we had a chat. And... Uh, brought a smile to my, to my face so thank you so much keep up the good work guys and i'll be back in um have a good day despite the rain and i hope you have a lovely day at work hello my sweet heart oh, come here what are you doing going in oh my beautiful my sweet heart i love you I clean your garden with some poop boops. Clean your garden with poop boo. You beautiful baby. Look at your massive head. It's like a bull's head. Oh, I nearly forgot to mention, guys, as well, the, the little beautiful doggy that was um, suffering from pyometra last week and got rushed into the vets. This is her. And she's all better. She's all better. Thanks. Don't scratch her face. Don't put in her face. <laughs> Yes, you look so much better. <laughs> Thank you. Good girl. I know I'm going to get you, sweetie. Yes, you're big to jump up, aren't you? Oh, my goodness. I'm just going to sit in my car for a little bit until this passes. The joys of being a dog poo fairy. Again, I don't mind though. We needed a bit of rain. We did need some rain. Did I tell you I bought a Loganberry plant? I might not have done. Brought strawberry prop, some strawberry plants after the Hobbit Hut trip when we went to the garden centre. And I bought a Loganberry bush plant. And only because when we were kids, there was a neighbour down a little snicket near where me and Susan mum lived and dad and uh the all the bushes and the berries grew out the back through the fence and we used to pinch the logan berries off off the bush and they're like massive it's like a hybrid between a raspberry and a blackberry and they're huge and really juicy and yummy and i thought oh my god i always wanted a logan berry bush but i've got it home and ash was like where are you gonna put that and i was like i don't know because apparently they grow quite big and they need like a wall or something to climb up But the, all the plants were reduced and I felt sorry for them and anyway I'll find somewhere to put it I'm sure I'll find somewhere to put it up the side of the garage or something I don't know or I'll see if I can find a gap in the in the patio bit at the back where the roses grow through the uh, conifers because there's nothing growing down there. We need to clean that bit out, really, and see, you know, what's what. But, yeah, Loganberries. It's just reminded me, because I just had my blackberries from my dinner. And I haven't had a Loganberry for, for years. Just brought back loads of memories. Hello. That's a lovely greeting, like always. Can I come in? Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. I love you so much. So, from Home Bargains, I got my sanitary products. Some jasmine and orange blossom, two in one, with the fabric conditioner uh, capsules. They look and smell delightful. A huge ice cube tray for my iced coffee, so I'm not popping 5,000 ice cubes out on a morning. Some, what are these? Hypnotic hibiscus, blue loo. And this feels so comfortable. A bath pillow, because my little bony neck now, top of my spine sits on the back of the bath. Oops, I've stuck it to the side. Um, so I thought that would be so comfy. Um, 
I thought about Ash using it for a minute and then I realised he can't lay down in the bath because he's gigantor. But I can. Oh gosh, it's been a busy day, but I'm finally home. What time is it? Quarter past four. I never get in that late. Never ever. Um, but we've got the frozen yogurt and strawberries from Little Seed Field that I need to transform into frozen yogurt. <laughs> Uh, release. Right, two seconds. Pass that to Ash. I mean, you've all seen this before, but I'm going to show you again. Oh, put my finger in it. That is the strawberry froyo, and it is so nice. Thanks, Ninja. Thanks, Dave. Oh my gosh, and the only reason I'm crying now. It's not because I'm sad. It's because I've cut up onions to go on my my wraps and <laughs> climbing up my eyes. I'm streaming. Ugh. So this is the end of today's video because if I don't get started, you're not going to see it. And this is my two ham wraps with loads of onion. Night night, everyone. Love you. Mm -hmm.